everything was affecting me physically, but it started affecting me mentally and emotionally. You know, when you have a period every two weeks, again, that's not normal. Constant fear of, you know, what if you do have an accident and you're out and uh, you don't have a change of clothes. And so that just really limited a lot of things. So that's when I came across the article through my email, you know, it had the article about uh, a lady who had had the procedure and how it was life altering. She was an excellent candidate. I will say there are very few patients that aren't candidates. They maybe have one or two fibroids that aren't a candidate, but th those typically aren't the ones that are causing the symptoms. It's the ones that are on the inside of the uterus that cause the heavy bleeding. So there's our one fibroid there. So fibroids are non-cancerous tumors of the uterus, but they can cause abnormal bleeding, um, and that bleeding can be associated with a pretty good amount of pain. So for ladies who need treatment um, because they're anemic or the bleeding that they have compromises their quality of life, this is a way of managing those symptoms without having to do a hysterectomy. There's a probe with an ultrasound attached to the end of the probe that's placed in the uterus. And so in live time in the operating room, we're scanning the uterus, identifying the fibroids. So you can actually see the blood flow feeding that fibroid. You know, like some fibroids will shrink in the immediate, like they, you know, average amount is about 40 to 50% is what you see over six months. But fibroids that have a higher volume of maybe blood or are more vascular are going to shrink more right at the outset because you're coagulating it, you're heating it, so you're going to see a more immediate response in those that have a higher volume of blood in them. Usually fibroids in and of themselves don't cause pain, but the bigger they get, they can outgrow their blood supply. And then that tissue begins to die and that tissue death and necrosis can cause some pain. Yeah, it was very painful. And sometimes you feel pain in your legs, you feel pain in your back, and, and just being tired all the time. It was impressive how it, it because sometimes you can see it decrease a little bit in size, but hers must have had a lot more volume in it. As we were sitting there measuring it, you know, it's sitting up on the screen and then you watch it come down further and further. And it was just, we were, we were all like, wow, did everybody else see what we just saw? It was just like a faucet, like just turned off. And cause I was bleeding very heavy before the procedure. And, um, and then after it was like barely any. And so that was just, again, the, the the beginning of the healing process. It's that third month, that sixth month, that you're going to see the huge increase and in improvement. I just, you know, I want other women to know that there is like hope, that there is something out there that can, you know, to help you have a normal life, just um, to be active again. I want other women to just know how amazing this procedure is because it's just been life changing for me.